Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. <laughs> I don't know exactly what we're going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do the next tier four in this episode or start it, because, man, it took three episodes um, for me to, to get all the way through the colony ship, and then several, you know, probably another, I don't know, maybe two real real time hours even after that just to loot the place uh, so um and i showed you guys the clips uh i think i will have showed you <laughs> uh, the clips of everything that i got from there and i still didn't finish you guys i mean there's still more loot in there that i could pull out but um yeah it was just it, it was nuts uh, just had a great time in that poi that was so, it was so fun to do that but um what i need to do i got a lot of a lot of stuff that needs to get done. A lot of chore type of work, I guess you would call it. Uh, the garden needs to be harvested again. I need to go out and get more oil shale because I'm out of oil shale uh, for gasoline. And I'm very low on gasoline in my vehicles. Uh, we have a motorcycle that we've added to our fleet now too. So, of course, uh, we're going to need even more gas. Uh, so that's got to get done. But um, I, am, uh, I am ready to get started uh, building our permanent horde base. And uh, so I think, and I want it to be close to home, so I think we're going to build it out probably in this spot here. We're going to build it from scratch. We're not going to use a, a POI. One advantage, of course, of doing that is then we don't have to worry about land clean blocks and sleepers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, and you know, that's our house over there. So I think that's far enough away to where when the horde spawns in at night, it's not going to spawn inside of our yard because it, you know, they spawn, I don't know, about 100 yards or so away from you-ish. So I don't want to be so close to the house that the horde could potentially spawn in the yard. Um, but I think this spot here would work pretty good. Now, um, I have a general idea in mind uh, for what this base is going to be. Um, it's going to be an explosion, uh, an explosive design. And I think it's going to be kind of a combination of uh, our first base and our second base, um, you know, that we've used in this series in some ways, but also different too. Uh, I'm still kind of thinking about how I'm going to do it, though. So I'm not going to really reveal a whole lot more to you at this point until, you know, I get started on it and give it some more thought and stuff. But um, I just wanted to let everybody know, though, that this is, um, you know, that we're going to we're going to start work on on the new base in earnest. Um, I, I'm just, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's not a huge pain in the butt, but it's a bit of a pain in the butt. To have to run all the way back up north on horde night every every time um so i just want to you know move everything closer to home essentially and uh, it's always been my intention to to build a permanent horde base anyways and the explosive design aspect of it is the best part of it because um explosive design bases or base designs i should say just generate crazy amounts of xp you know so it's just going to help us level um you know that much faster too so uh, okay, so that being said, um, let's see. What are we going to do today? The uh, the actual POI that we need to do is right by our house. I mean, it's just like, you know, this is our house here, and I think it's this high school that we need to do. Yeah, so the Tier 4 clear right here. But, again, I'm not so sure I want to do that today. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to probably cut the camera, and I'm gonna get start. I'm gonna get started on this build, and I'll probably just bring you back with some updates as the build comes together. Most likely, we won't. You know, we won't get done with the entire build in just this episode. It'll probably take a couple of episodes where we do some updates in in between some other things. But I do need to definitely go out and also get some oil shale too. I want gasoline for um, Horde 105. Or actually, I should say day 106 after the horde so we can make our rounds to the traders. Um, so probably going to do that, get the garden done, work on oil shale. And uh, like I said, I'll bring you guys back uh, with an update on uh, how the new build's coming together. Once I have a little more solid plan in mind, you know, I'll call, kind of explain it to you and that sort of thing. So if all goes well, tomorrow, uh, day 105, horde day 105, will be the last time that we will do the horde in our current base and then uh, hopefully by the time the next horde comes around which is 112 i think um we should be we should be fully uh operational down here okay guys so yeah i will bring you back at some point with an update and we'll go from there okay guys i'm back um <clears throat> change of plans uh or at least a 
a, a slight sidestep to our, our overall plans. Uh, we're going to make a drawbridge. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that, I had planned on doing that anyways, but the reason I'm going to do it is because whenever I get like little hordes that come in or big hordes that come in, they pile all over the 4x4 four four and do a little bit of damage and stuff to it. And I'm afraid, you know, one of them's going to hit on it and it might blow up or something. So uh, we're going to actually go ahead and build ourselves a, a drawbridge in this episode. So we're going to have basically going to have a building episode. Um, so that's what we're going to do. All right. So I'm going to do a power drawbridge. I did find um, I did find a Jenny uh, in the colony ship, though. I can also make one of those easily, too. They're not that that hard to do. Uh, but we do have a journey, so we're going to use that. And we're going to make ourselves a powered drawbridge. So let's take a look and see uh, what we need uh, to do that. So reinforced drawbridge powered. We're going to need all of this stuff here. Um, so, and we make that in the workbench. Okay, I wasn't sure if we had to make that mechanics table or not. So let's get uh, some stuff to get that going. I need to keep, I, I've thought about moving my forges down underground because I need to keep running them, but man, they just keep calling the damn screamers in. Um, either that or we need to get some turrets. Can I actually make auto turrets? I don't know if I can or not. Um, I like the shotgun auto turret just because it's a little cheaper to make ammo for it, though actually in Ravenhurst, brass is so easy to come by that that might not matter. Uh, so, oh, I can make it. Um, I can make this. So, you know, what I could do for the screamers is just put up, I notice I've got, you know, a little junkie down there, but that doesn't really do much because I don't have any skill in it. Uh, I could put some auto turrets along the wall, um, to deal with screamers when they come in. So let's see if we were to do that, I think what we would probably want to do, um, if we put like three on the back wall, they could probably shoot down, uh, down there. Maybe what we could do is hold, put them out uh, a little ways, like put a, um, you know, like a, some bars down or something and have it go out a bit just so it's can get right down below when the zombies get right at the edge. I think that would probably work. Um, let's, let's try it because, you know, if we get auto turrets up, then screw the screamers. They can come in all they want. The turrets are just going to take them out. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's try that. Well, let me see how many shotgun parts I have. Let's see here. Uh, we got this uh, KSG-12 shotgun, too. It does 15 damage per pellet. I'm a, I'm not sure. Is this, like, supposed to be a... Um, is this supposed to be, like, an auto shotgun or what? What's the deal with it? Oh, it's pretty badass looking. Here, let's go test it out on Nurse Nancy out here. It's, it's kind of a low-level one, though, unfortunately. Come here, Nance. Oh, it's got... Uh, it's got... Here, let's try that again. Yeah, you know what? I ran into this problem with one of the shotguns on... Uh, on Juarez UK. The sound the sound is not right. It doesn't... It doesn't uh, reverberate long enough. It, cut, it cuts off. See, that should go boom... What? <laughs> no, that's kind of weird, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, it should echo more, but it, it, they cut the sound off on it. I don't like that. Um, it, it sounds good otherwise, but yeah. Okay, so so this is not, this is a pump shotgun. This is not an auto shotgun. So how does it compare with damage uh, to this? So 150 damage per, oh, oh, I got slugs in. Okay, never mind. I got slugs, and I was going to say, okay, here, let's try this then. That was, like, confusing me for a second there. Let's put normal shotgun shells in. Okay, so now this will do 17 damage per pellet, and it does 73 rounds per minute. This does... Yeah, this is inferior uh, pretty much in every way. So, yeah, I don't... Uh, I mean, maybe if we found a, a higher quality uh, KSG-12, it would be better than this. But at present, uh, I don't I don't see it being better than the auto shotgun. Okay, well, anyway, we checked that out. Oh, the other thing, too, is I want to get... I want to start rocking our max freaking level M98 sniper rifle. That was the prize. Uh, this was a pretty nice prize, too. Uh, but this was the, the main prize, man. 
And um, I, you know, I don't have any skills in rifles to speak of, but that doesn't mean we can't get some, some going in this. Oh man! So this sucker does a hundred ranged damage. That's pretty damn good. So even though we, you know, we don't have much skill in it, it already just packs a punch just out of the box, you know. Um. So let's see. We've got a, we got a crap level one here. That one only does seventy. And I have a really pretty high marksman rifle in here that I'm going to sell. And that does 80. And we also have a yellow sniper rifle, a vanilla sniper rifle. And it does 75. So even though we don't have much skill in it, just the fact that it does, has such high damage just, you know, natively um, will still make it probably pretty effective for us. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go into here. I've got a, a, an 8X scope that I bought at one point. Uh, we could put a semi-trigger mod on here if we wanted to. And um, I guess there isn't... Uh, I, I doubt it's going to let me put the drum mod on it, but we can try it. And the tripod would be good for the sniper rifle. Okay, so now let's see what it does when we mod it up with all this stuff. Oh, it's not going to let me put the, this on. Okay, so right now it does 100. And if we put this on it... Oh, I got a freeze. Good old Ravenhurst freeze. Okay, so those two bump it up to 112. And we still have two more slots, you know, that we could put more mods on. Let's look at something here. Um, I don't have any more mods in here that will work with it. But I can make some mods. So if we go here... I made the fireman's uh, axe mod for my uh, axe, by the way. Let's look at our mods here. So we could put on a cripplum, I'm sure. We could also put on a... I don't think we would want a foregrip mod on a sniper rifle. We could put a magazine extender on uh, or, and or a muzzle brake. Those would be appropriate for sniper rifle. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, or we could put, oh we could put a rad remover. That would be good. Yeah. Okay. So let's put a rad remover on it. Um, let's do that one first. Uh, so we're gonna grab some steel. Uh, let's see. We need glue, mechanicals, and spring. Glue, mechanical parts, and springs. Okay. So let's craft a rad remover for it. And then, um, see, what would be the other really good thing to put on a sniper rifle? We've already got the tripod, so that's going to help with uh, aimed with aiming, right? So what does this do? Increase actually in handling when aiming the weapons, because, you know, you're going to always aim a sniper rifle. You're not going to not aim it, right? Uh, at least I do. So uh, the rad remover, of course, is going to be good for popping irradiated. Oh, silencer. The silencer is going to reduce our damage a little bit, but it's a silencer, right? And I think I can make a silencer. Let's take a look. I can't. Shit. Okay. I have a silencer on my pistol, and it's still probably going to be better to keep the silencer on the pistol so we can do quiet kills inside of POIs. So I imagine even with a silencer, this is still going to make a decent amount of noise. Okay, so what's the next best thing to put on it then? We were looking at... Go back to here. Okay, so we were... Cripplum wouldn't be a bad idea. Can we put that on a sniper rifle? I think we can put it on any gun. Pretty sure we can. Uh, or magazine extender mod. How many rounds do we already have in the chamber on this sucker? See, it only sports five rounds, but I mean, for a sniper rifle, we don't necessarily need more rounds. I'm assuming this is a semi-auto weapon. Um, here, let's just test it. Yes, it is. It's got some kick, though. So the muzzle brake actually might be a good one to put on here, then, to help reduce that kick a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's do let's do the muzzle brake. I think that's what we should put on here. Muzzle brake. Where were you? Muzzle, 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 muzzle brake mod. Where is the muzzle? I just saw it a second ago. Here it is. Okay, so we need iron, polymer, oil, and mechanicals. Iron? No, not that kind of iron. We already have it. Iron, 
polymer oil and we already have the mechanical parts all right yeah let's craft the muscle break for it this weapon is gonna be badass you guys um i used i think it was called the chaytac in juarez uk and i just loved it absolutely fell in love with that sniper rifle uh, in that mod so this is going to be good too okay let's go let's put this on our axe uh where did it go fireman's axe mod because I mean, I don't use my axe for combat. I, I, I've i hit a couple zombies with it, but uh, that's generally not what we're going to use. So we're, I'm, I'm good with the with that. Okay, so then we're going to go modify. And we'll put that on. So we will prevent greenies from uh, generating health when we hit them in the head with this. And then again, hopefully this will help, you know, with the kick on it. And, you know, it doesn't take that long to reload. It's pretty quick reload, especially because we have the bandolier on anyways. I think we're wearing the bandolier on our chest piece or our legs. Yeah, so we got the bandolier. Uh, bandolier does not stack, by the way, so that's why I'm not wearing another one. And if you, it's kind of hard to see here, but, oh, the gun just disappeared on me. If, if you look at my, uh, you know, the crosshairs, as soon as I aim, I mean, they're right there. And that's, that's the tripods doing that for us. So even though I don't really have, you know, the skills in rifles, which would help with that somewhat, I mean, we're already right on the money, immediately right on the money. So that's really good. That's why I love that tripod mod so much for sniper rifles. Okay, let's grab our muzzle brake. Um, there we go. And, and let's just compare it again. So when I'm shooting, let's just shoot at the blue house. Um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put our horizontal crosshair right at the end of the window. And see, it kicks it up just a little bit above the window. Okay, now let's put the muzzle brake on it and see how much of a difference that makes. Okay, let's reload. And now let's try it again. So the cro horizontal crosshairs at the bottom of the window. Okay, it helped a little bit. It's still, it's still bucking quite a bit, but it helped a little bit. All right, nice, man. Look at this gun, you guys. And it's, it's output, or its damage now is 125. So we increase the damage by 25 by putting these four mods on here. It's just a beautiful thing. All right, do we have any Zombos anywhere we can test this out on? Yeah, look at that. Here's our first victim. Okay, we can zoom right in here. <laughs> oh, that didn't kill him. That's just because we have such terrible skill. There we go. I should have zoomed back out. To, whoops. I should have zoomed back out too. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, the only way we're going to get that skill up, of course, is if we start using it. Let's take a look and see. Do we have an even one point in, in rifles? Uh, where's rifles? It's right here. Oh, I just passed it. We don't, <laughs> we don't even have a one point. <coughs> okay. Well, again, like I said, we have to just start using it in order to get some points into it. I mean, we'll probably never actually level it all the way up by the, you know, the gun disappears. That's really weird. Uh, you know, before we're done with this playthrough, but we'll have some fun with it. Let's see if we can get over here. And wait for her to hold still for a second. Zoom in. There we go. Okay, squeeze the trigger. Yeah, see, that should have just annihilated her. What? But it's because we have no skill in it. Okay, well, anyway, we'll uh, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing before, which was drawbridge. We are going to make ourselves a drawbridge. So, all right. Uh, let's bring this back up. We want a powered drawbridge. So, we've got the forged iron. I need to make some more forged iron, too. We need a wood, electrical parts, wires, and screws. So, there's wires and there's screws. And let's get some wood out of here. I'm going to put this shotgun back in here for now. Okay. What are we missing? We got all of that, all of that. 
Oh, we need 34 mechanical parts. And we need... Oh, I didn't grab electrical parts. Come on, dude. What the hell, man? Now what I'm in, what am I missing? Um, we got everything. We're in the workbench. I've got plenty of wood, forged iron. I got plenty of forged iron. I got plenty of springs, plenty of mechanical parts, plenty of electrical parts. Plenty of wires and plenty of... I don't understand. What am I missing? Craft area workbench. Okay. Um. Oh, wood. Wood, 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 wood. We need 1150 wood. Gotcha. Okay, sorry. I... <laughs> I, I see. Okay, wow, that's a shit ton of wood, isn't it? Now it should work. There we go. Good lord. I, I assumed I had plenty of wood, so I just wasn't looking at, at that. That's going to take 18 minutes to build. Okay, so we are also going to need a sensor to make this work. So let's queue up one of those. Um, and... Uh, we Yeah, okay. Now, for the power, if we're going to also do some auto shotguns, I have to figure out where I want my power to go. Um, and we'll have to run relays and all of that, of course. So I guess it kind of makes sense to keep the power in here. Can we fit the Jenny right here? We can. Okay. Why don't we... Let's put the Jenny right there. Okay. Can I make normal relays? I know I can make the timed relays. Electric wire relay. Yes, I can. Okay. So we're going to need some of those too because I don't believe I have any relays. I have I have timed ones right here, but I don't have the normal ones. All right. So electric wire relay. Uh, we don't need 96. Let's make, say, 10. Okay. We'll get those queued up. And then um, let's grab some concrete and some rebar. You know what I need to be doing, though, actually, is I need to be making the shotguns first. Uh, yeah, I don't want to stop that. I'm just going to let it go. The shotgun turrets, I should say. Uh, we're going to look and see how many shotgun parts we have, too, by the way. So we have 12. That's not a lot, man. Um, I mean, we could take this apart, but I was thinking about selling that thing. That's a pretty nice little chunk of change there. Definitely am not going to sell this. We might even start using this. Of course, I don't know. We're doing 17 damage per pellet with that. So there's not a whole lot of more advantage that this has over the, our current auto shotgun. But this has no mods in it either. So we don't have very many shotgun parts. My goodness. I thought we would have had a more, would have, would have had more than that. So... If we look at the shotgun turret again for a minute. Shotgun. It's auto shotgun. There we go. No, auto. For Pete's sake, just type in turret. There we go. Uh, shotgun auto turret. That's what we're looking for. Okay, that requires, it only requires three pieces. Okay, so that means we could make four. If we wanted to, but it also then means I can't craft the new shotgun until we get some more pieces. If we're working with four, um, what we might be able to do in that case, maybe what we should do is put the turrets on the corners looking down this way. Now, they have a pretty long range. Um... And then, you know, what I would do is I'd make like a little slab for it, put it down there, and then cover the back side of it so it's somewhat protected. I'm, I'm pretty sure they can't reach all the way to the middle of here from each corner, but they could probably come pretty close, uh, assuming they work like they do in vanilla. And if 
And that way, if a screamer comes in, the screamers usually come in from the back or the side because uh, the, the forges are here. And if a screamer comes in, she's going to wander around, and as long as she gets into range, she's going to get popped. And we could put the, um, the other two in the front corner and just, you know, get the screamer to, to wander to either, either corner kind of thing. At least until we can get to the point where we can make more. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so since we're waiting, whoops, uh, since we're going to be waiting for a little while for that shot or that, um, what the hell is it called? Um, thingamadoodle, drawbridge to finish. Let's get started with some work here on the platforms. Is there any iron in here? There's a little bit. So let's turn this on. I don't want to really crank the forges yet until we get this stuff in place because, um, you know, because we're going to get the screamers coming in. I don't want to deal with them. But we'll turn this on momentarily and um, make some more rebar. Whoops. Let's just make as many rebars as we can. I don't think we're going to need that much, but... Well, we will when we build the horde base. Okay, so we got that going. And um, let's feed some more. Well, let's actually feed some more iron into here. Because we're going to need it for rebar and other things later. I won't start this forge, though, for now. Let's just leave it off because, again, uh, screamers. Okay, so we're waiting for that. Let's go ahead and queue up some shotgun turrets, then. We're going to make four for now. Um turret shotgun auto turret okay so what what else do we need we need oh we need motion sensors for these two that's right i forgot about that uh we have everything else okay so what uh, that means we want to actually make a total of five motion sensors all right let's cancel that for a minute okay we'll make five of those um on the relays we were going to make 10 of those i think right yeah so let's make 10 of those and then we'll, once these are done, then we'll have we'll come back and make the shotgun turret. So for now, I'm just going to put this stuff in here. All right, moving right along. I've been making, uh, you know, palletizing more stone. I put a bunch of pallets in there. I'm actually able now to palletize other stuff, so that's on the to-do list. There's just so much stuff to do, you know. Uh, but it is on the to-do list. Okay, now what are we going to do? We're going to go build the slabs for. Uh, for the shotgun turrets. Okay, so let's get uh, some concrete. We'll just grab three stacks of that. There's a zombo walking around out here. Okay, I was going to say, hopefully it's not a screamer. It's not. I can pretty much deal with just about anything else, just not screamers. Well, we can deal with them too. They're just a pain in the ass is all. I went around last night and completely repaired the moat and everything too. I still have more plans for the moat, but it's functional now, so we're just gonna use it as is for the for now. Where in the hell's my shovel? I don't have a shovel on me. We need a shovel. Let's get a shovel. Shovel is here. We'll set up the slabs for the turrets, and then what we'll do is we'll. Uh, here, let me look at something. Yeah, we want it to be right in the corner here. Right? Yeah. Okay. I found this uh, impact driver as you guys uh, saw on the clip that I played at the beginning here. It's not a very high level one, but you know, it's an impact driver, so it's it still does more block damage than my you know, light blue level ratchet that I have. What's damaged here? I think it's, oh, it's, it's that. Okay. Just the dirt. Yeah. Eventually I'll line all of this. I think I will anyway. Um, but it was mostly just the, you know, the, the interior part or the part up against the wall that we needed to get done right away. Okay. And then we'll come up here and put some in these corners as well so that's going to require some pick work all 
And you know how the screamers are. I mean, when they come in, if they come in in the middle, they're still going to move around and they'll eventually should get into range of the shotgun turrets. Is that... That seems too far in. Is it? Yeah, we need to move it back one more. I guess I never actually dug out this corner all the way. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Okay, and then let's hit the other two corners. Yeah, we need to get this sucker in the garage and away from the zombies when they come in. Okay, so here uh, we want to break this out. I have this little dippity do thing here deliberately because I accidentally I uh, drove the mini bike into the ditch the other night. <laughs> Actually, I drove the four by into the ditch too, but I managed to get it out. And the reason is because I was coming home at night, and you know sometimes in Ravenhurst it gets so dark you can barely see like five feet in front of you. Well, it was one of those nights. It was pretty hairy getting home, man. I was coming back from the South uh, South Gin Trader. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so we got the slabs in place. That's good. Now, let's... Uh, I guess we have to wait for the relays, because that's kind of the next thing that I would do. And um, that's going to take a little while, because we have to get the drawbridge done first. So let's jump back over here. Yeah, see, the thing about doing a Tier 4 quest in, in Ravenhurst is you can't just go do them and get them all done in one episode. They're so long, you know? So they're they're an entire episode, or in the case of, you know, the the uh, colony ship, like three episodes to get through the damn thing. And I imagine a lot of the other custom Tier 4s are going to be just as long, too, so that, you know, we just have to plan for an entire episode to do that. And we will. We'll continue doing it. We're having a lot of fun doing it, but we got to get other stuff done, too. So, Okay, so let's see here. What are we doing? We're waiting for this to finish so that those other things can finish. So I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to cut the camera, and I'm going to go out to the desert and mine a whole bunch of oil shale. And I'm just going to do that off camera because it's just going to be mining oil shale. And I will bring you back uh, later on with an update on where we are uh, with making all this stuff, and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I never actually did make it out to the desert because uh, I wanted to make a new pick, and I was, you know, my uh, the drawbridge was holding that up, too. So I figured, okay, I'll go out and cut a bunch of wood. Uh, so we got over 3,000 wood uh, processing here in the table saw and planted some more trees, too. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our relays set up next. So what we're going to want to do here is... Um, so we got the, we've got the, uh, where is the generator exactly? It's underneath the, that pane there. Okay, so I think what we'll do is, um, we're going to put in a relay here. Do we want to put it there? Kind of like it to actually be a little higher. Here, let's take this out. Can we put it on, on that? It looks kind of stupid having it on glass, though, doesn't it? And that's an actual intact window, too. Well, okay. We could... Uh, how do we want to do this? We could put it here. Let's just put it there. I can always move these later. You know, you can pick up relays, so it's not like we're permanently stuck with it forever and ever kind of thing. Okay, so let's wire that up to here okay looks a little cheesy but not terrible all right now um we're gonna need to get down to there and uh down to there so we're gonna want what does it look like if we try and put something up on top here Yeah, I was afraid of that because these are these are qu uh, quarter blocks. Um, damn it, damn it, Jim. I mean, I could put it there, right? But we want it to look kind of halfway decent, too. We do, yes. 
Well, all right. I guess what we do is we could run down this way. Let's run to there. That might be a little far. Let's see if we can reach it. There we go. Okay. So we'll run that wire to there, and then we're going to have to cross it over at some point. Um, either that or we're going to have to put in a full block here to get it all to work. We, You know what we need is we need we actually need some poles, I think. We're either going to have to go above ground or underground, and I'm thinking a pole on the corner is probably what we want to make this work correctly. All right, so what we're going to do then in that case is let's grab let's grab some concrete and let's make some wet concrete blocks. Let's just make I don't know like say 10. And that way we can, you know, then use the shape menu to change their shape. Let's just grab this first one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to here. And if we're going to... I don't mind running that along the house, but it might actually work better to, to run it up to here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's bust this out. Oh wow, that's actual reinforced concrete. It's just painted to look like uh, cobblestone. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so we want this pole here. And we want to turn it so it's like that. Alright, we might... Uh, The other thing we could do is we could put a quarter block in there just so it fills up the whole space. That might look better, actually. Yeah, let's take this back out. Or no, I got an idea. I know what we're going to do. Here, let's, um, here's what we're going to do. Let's go back here. Grab these. Okay, we're going to cut those in half. This one we're going to make a quarter block, which is, where is the quarter block? Probably looking right at it. Here, right here. That's centered. No, we don't want centered. Okay, so let's turn this, um, let's just do advanced rotation. There, that's where we want it. Okay, so we'll put that there, and then this will make the pull. Uh, here, wet concrete pull, and we need to just flip it around. It's not going to sit right in the center, but I can't. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't do that anyway. Okay, then what we'll do is put the relay on top of that. Oh no! <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that. Damn it. Um. There isn't any way to put that on the corner, is there? Okay. Yeah, I forgot all about that. So, let's take this back down again. If we just put it on here, it's going to hang out a little bit, but I mean, it's either that or put a big full block in and then have the full block hang out over the wall, and I think this is the lesser of two evils. Um, but let's, let's put it up a little higher though, too. Okay. That's probably about as good as that's going to get. Okay. So let's grab this guy and we're going to attach from the relay to here. There we go. Now we can run the power uh, down the wall that way and also down this way. Now, when we get down to here, I mean, we could probably just run the wire directly to the turret 
It would look better if I put a pole in here, though. But, and I might do that later, but I think for now, let's just run the wire directly. Let's see if we have a turret that's ready to go. Oh, nope, not quite. I was going to take a little bit of time. All right, well, that's fine. I mean, I suppose we could... We could put a pole here and then run it down. It might ultimately look better that way. So, all right, if we're going to do that, then I put the rebar away. We could just we could just run the quarter blocks up. But maybe put them on this corner instead, like that. Because if we put a full block here, then it's going to block more of our view and we can't see or shoot, you know, stuff that's coming that way. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go into here, put these also to quarter blocks, and then we're going to go to here. And we're going to do copy rotation, which is this guy. And we're going to have to put some frames down so we can get up above it. And it looks like we need to go one one more so that it's even with that. Yeah, okay. That should work. Um oh. We oh that's right. We put that on the corner. Uh can't do anything about that. That's the way it's going to have to be. So I think this looks better on the outside corner than on the inside corner. Okay, now let's grab the wire there, and we should be able to reach that one. Beautiful. Okay, and then we'll just run this wire down to the turret there. All right, guys, so uh, the turret's going to take a little while to finish, so I'm going to basically um, just wait till they're done and set up the wiring. We're just picking this guy up. Uh, set up the wiring uh pretty much like this all the way around the fence get the turrets down get some shells in them we need to make some more shells too and then yeah we'll have uh we'll have the auto turrets to help protect against screamers and then we can get the forges going again and get our production going again because i've you know it's just been kind of kind of dragging a little bit because of the screamers but uh, i think we're out of time here so i'm gonna let you guys go here and i Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, my brain's not firing on all cylinders right now. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.